Welcome to my new video in my home automation series and in one of my recent video I reviewed this uh, Sonoff uh, Basic Release 4 Smart Switch which is the newest uh, addition in the Sonoff Basic range or well, the Sonoff Basic product and it has this new feature which is called the magic switch function. And when I did the main review video I said that I need a little bit more time to test this because uh, I wasn't sure how it was working and I just received this device like a couple of days ago. So now I managed to test this so I can showcase this specific function to you. And the reason I wanted to do it separately because uh, I would assume that this functionality would get introduced to some of the new, some of the other products as well that might be coming in the future. So maybe there is going to be like a mini which would have this function as well. So now I'm covering it in a separate video so you can see how it works. So with uh, this special function I can operate the switch uh, using the app. So I can you know use the app to turn the light on and off. I can also use the uh, the button here to turn it on and off and of course I can use the switch which is provided here so I can use this as a regular light switch and the reason this feature is important because this is like a you know regular light switch and normally in in an older house in an older installation these switches only have two wires going into them uh, and both of them are uh, live wires so there is a fixed uh, live wire which is coming from the switch box and the other live wire usually goes to the light and if you would replace this with a you know like a smart light switch you would also need a neutral wire and in most cases that is not available so you physically you can uh, switch it so the solution for this problem uh, from also from Sonoff and from the other manufacturers as well, is to use a single live wire uh, version of a smart switch, which requires a capacitor to be installed across the load. And that allows the, um, the switch to operate even if there is no neutral wire at the switch. So this is a new approach from Sonoff, which is this magic switch function, which as you can see, doesn't need a capacitor but can still use an old light switch and only use the two live or phase wires. And if you look at on the uh, EV-Link app, you don't really need anything else in order to operate this. The only thing you need is you need this magic switch mode and then this needs to be enabled, which is enabled in my Sonoff. And as you can see that I can operate the switch and it just works. So let me show you how it works because it is a little bit of a hardware hack and also probably like a software hack. When you look at the wiring, as much as you can see from the wiring, it is just like a regular wiring. So as I mentioned, the two live wire goes to the switch and then you have the uh, live and the neutral which goes to the lamp. And the Sonoff uh, basic is uh, basically just spliced in to the wires that goes to the lamp. The change or the physical difference here is that normally when you have an old light switch uh, like this one it has three inputs or three outputs there is a, a one which is called the l and there is l1 and the l2 and if you look at the diagram here um, the way it works internally is that it connects the l to either the l1 or the l2 connection so when you change the switch it either connects l to l1 or the l2 l2 uh, l2 l2 yes so what I had to do for this function to work is to bridge the L1 and the L2 connection. So what happens is that in either position of the switch, the, um, the two connections between the, uh, the incoming phase or the incoming live wire and the outgoing live wire is connected because the connection is made between either L and L1 or L and L2. The thing is, or the magic here is that when you change the switch, then... <coughs> The switch doesn't switch immediately from L1 to L2, but there is a little bit of delay. And I think the way the Sonoff is engineered, that it can survive that very short, basically, power outage when the switch is changing from L1 to L2. That could be like, I don't know, 10, 50 milliseconds or something like that. Uh, so the the smart switch survives, so it has enough power to bridge, bridge that uh, power outage or power gap, but it will definitely notice that there was a power gap. And then it's just smart enough to know that the reason for that power gap is because the switch has been flicked from one position to another. So it just toggles the output accordingly. 
and that's it. That's how it works. And by the way, if you look at the bulb closely, I'm not really sure how well this is going to come through the recording, but when I switch the bulb on, it comes on as usual, but when I switch it off, there is a little bit of flicker. So first the bulb goes off, and then it comes back on immediately, and it goes off. And I think that's sort of the indication of this, because then when the bulb goes off initially, that's when the... Um, you know, the switch changes position, so that's the sh uh, short power outage. And then uh, the, you know, the power is restored, so the bulb comes back on, but then also the ESP just notices that the, uh, well, there was a switch or a short power outage, so it toggles the output. But all everything takes a little bit of time that you can notice, or I can certainly notice. I don't know whether it would be like annoying in the long term, but also I'm thinking that maybe Sonoff would be able to either, you know, reduce this effect or eliminate, yeah, eliminate it com uh, completely in a firmware update. So I just want to leave it there just to set your expectations. So if you really bothered about this uh, sm uh, short flicker, then uh, maybe this option is not for you. And finally, I wanted to show you some of the documentation that was provided. So um, it, this is a page which is part of the documentation for this uh, magic switch. And as you can see, everything is explained here how it works. So normally, if you exclude the Sonoff Basic, then in a traditional North smart home, this is how a switch is wired. So you have the neutral wire, which goes directly to the light bulb, and then you have the live, which first goes to your switch, and from the switch, it goes into the light bulb. So as I said, you won't be able to change this to uh, like a son of smart switch, like a T1 or a TX or anything, because for that, you need the live wire. So obviously the live wire is not here and you might not be able to install the live wire. But with this smart switch mode and the Sonoff Basic Release 4, all you need to do is uh, bridge the L1 and the L2 connection at the lamp. So you need to install a short piece of wire, just like I did. And then you have to uh, basically splice in the Sonoff Basic at the lamp. So that means that um, you most probably would have to have like a full ceiling where you can install the Sonoff Basic, or if you have a bigger lamp which has, let's say, a big enough ceiling rows, maybe you have enough space, or hopefully you have enough space to fit in the Sonoff Basic. So hopefully you have an installation where you wouldn't need to access the wires which are going into, you know, in your in your wall or in a conduit but rather just make modification at the lamp end and also make modification at the, at the switch. And as long as you can make those small modifications, I think that would be an option for you to make an old light switch smart. And then finally, let me add just one more caveat. So uh, as I said, there is this small flicker thing, which could be an issue for some. Uh, so I definitely wanted to mention that. And the other one is, uh, which is actually highlighted here in this documentation, is that they say that they need um, a light bulb from around 3 watts to 100 watts. I have no idea why it makes a difference, but uh, when I was testing this functionality, I wanted to use this uh, really small LED indicator light that I usually use in all my other projects. And this is basically just a very you know, very small uh, LED. It's not meant to illuminate, it's just meant to indicate. But it was uh, such a small consumption that uh, this functionality wasn't working. So the, the switch would just not, you know, work. And I have no idea why this makes a difference, but it actually did. So I thought that maybe the issue is with the switch, but as soon as I changed this small light bulb with a regular light bulb, and this is not a high power light bulb, then everything was working. And the reason I'm mentioning this is that if you plan to replace a lot of switches with this new functionality, I would suggest that maybe buy a single son of uh, basic release 4 and test it first and just make, just make sure that it works. Because uh, I can't really imagine that there are any switches uh, where it wouldn't work. I mean, obviously you need a switch which has uh, three poles or free connections. So a really, really old two pole switch wouldn't work for this one. 
but uh, you know maybe there are some switches which, which has a completely different physical design and this delay is either too short or too long for the son of basics so i'm just saying this so you have your expectations and you don't buy a bunch of them for a function that would not work for one reason or the other and i think that would be all i wanted to share about this magic switch function I really like it. I think it is a very smart uh, software and the hardware hack, and it seems to be working very reliably in my test setup, so I can definitely recommend it. If you are interested in this, I'm going to leave a link to the Sonoff uh, Basic Release 4 in the video description, but that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.